Winter is coming and time is running out. The temperature keeps dropping, the days grow shorter and I need to get my hand-built solar yacht out to the sea now. After months of exhaustion, working through darkness and cold, Helios 11 is finally ready, touching the water for the very first time. The dream began with my first ultra-lightweight explorer prototype. I tested it and thought, what if I could build a world cruising yacht powered entirely by the sun? I ran the numbers and realized it was already possible. A futuristic, infinite-range vessel that could let me live anywhere on Earth in abundance. So I started building the Helios 11, the first of its kind. In this mission log, we're preparing for her first sea trials, and I'm setting course south, racing winter toward the Mediterranean. My biggest question, will there be enough sun this far north to make it? Let's find out. So as you might have seen, this trailer is pretty shit. It's super simple, I just wanted to get it done with simple materials in one day. And it seems to be working surprisingly well, because the boat is so light, only 350 to 400 kilos, now that it's empty. We're now slowly moving toward the shore on this uh, primitive road. It's very bumpy up and down, and the trailer seems to be holding up well. I didn't expect to immediately put it in the water, but there were some complications with space and the trailer, so we just shoved it in and uh, didn't have anything ready. So here I'm waiting in the cold, reflecting on the journey I'll go on in just a couple days. The yacht is floating very light and will become more than double the weight once all the equipment, solar panels and the batteries are added. We start by putting the batteries inside. They weigh 38 kilos each. Here is my primitive, yet highly functional steering mechanism. It's not that beautiful, but it definitely works. just uh, educated myself into being an electrician and we have the parallel coupling for the batteries going into the engine through the bus bar. The roof panels are now charging up the batteries and we're celebrating with a breakfast here in the sun, trying out the comfort of the yacht, still very messy. We got raw cheese, dried mango, After three days of hard work, we have now set up the solar systems, everything is running and it is time to go for the first field test. Now I'm sitting here in the cool morning, it's 10 degrees outside and probably inside as well. Doing some work here on the laptop. I'm a Nordic man, I'm used to the cold so it really doesn't matter but I'm looking forward very much to soon head out and just sail south. I'm gonna leave this harbor in 15 minutes. It's 
it's raining, it's very cloudy and I'm barely getting any power from the solar right now. But my batteries are completely full so I can go for at least 60 nautical miles if I travel slowly. It is now day 3 of the Helios 11 field test. Yesterday I drove to a city and spent some time there getting supplies. I have a lot of meat now, a lot of cheese and already I think 10 kilos of organic dried fruit on board. So I think I'm gonna manage a lot of eggs, a lot of supplements, collagen, protein. I could become stranded for probably 3 weeks now. Before I head out, I get some help setting up the sofa mattresses as well as these uh, duck feather pillows. Life can be like a video game when you're on a real adventure. Now I've set my objective marker 30 nautical miles ahead and I'm gonna arrive there later today traveling steadily with uh, roughly 1.2 kilowatts of power and you can see how incredibly efficient this yacht is we're going five knots with 1.2 kilowatts i don't think any other boat of this size class could do that it's an 11 meter boat with uh, space for six persons to sleep in the secret is the lightweight design and the lack of porcelain toilets and marble tables. This boat has a 9mm plywood hull and the bottom is reinforced with two layers of 500 grit glass fiber and I've coated it well also with epoxy paint. I also did manual stress tests on some pieces that had this composite of plywood and glass fiber. I couldn't break it with a sledgehammer unless I really tried. It's incredibly strong, but then again, the force of the sea is also incredibly strong. At 2.7 kilowatts, we're going 6.1 knots, 6 knots. We're now going 7.2 knots. And this is the speed I could travel at for 10 hours straight if I had sunlight. No sailing vessel of similar size could do this, except if it's one that is designed for racing or a catamaran. It will be another cloudy day with minimal sunlight. So today I will have to set up the sail. It's almost completed. I have a beautiful breakfast here. I'm gonna show it to you. This is how we stay strong and healthy. Only eating the most optimal food nature has to offer. Alright, we're now on the front deck. I have installed the small roughly 6 square meter backup sail. It is easy to use and safe because of its small size. The story of this sail is interesting. It was given to me by my father. It is actually from one of those racing yachts that travel on skis on the ice. But now it is fitted on top of my Solar Explorer. Let's go try it out. Good news. 
is the sail is working better than expected three knots roughly with only 200 watts of energy and this confirms that even if you have a solar yacht you can travel in winter in areas with almost no sunlight this isn't the intended design of my yacht i'm looking for warm sunny climates anywhere across the world It's getting dark and I'm gonna travel to this island here. Seems to be a good harbor and that way I get as far as possible today with this uh, favorable wind. The wind has picked up. Now we have four to five knots of travel speed. We can cover a lot of distance and I'm barely using any power of the battery and have enough backup energy available still for five hours of slow cruising. Finally, we're getting some brief sunlight. I'm charging about 700 watts right now. That is enough to get me going to my destination. Feels very good. And I'm looking forward to seeing numbers of 3000 to 5000 once I get into sunnier climates. Almost completely silent. Uh, this is the only sound that the boat makes. It's been an incredible journey so far. The sun is shining now a bit. I'm getting some solar charge and I have 20 nautical miles left to Marianhamina, the city in Åland Islands. The sun will set soon, but I'll continue sailing because I still have a bit of battery. I'm gonna push all the way there, even if my battery runs close to zero, and then I can rest for several days there and watch as my batteries recharge to full, and then I'll be ready to head over to Sweden, then continuing along the coast to the south. cruising in complete darkness, taking a shortcut between these rocks. Finally, it's a sunny morning. Yesterday, I almost got to the city, but I decided to stop here in a pretty cozy harbor instead of risking of running out of batteries completely.
here we are sitting in Anchor in Mariehamn, Holland. It is cold and I'm sitting here by the, well, heat of the candlelight and it just feels so unreal. I'm now finally on this journey on the boat that I've been spending six months building. I still can't believe it's real. Every day I'm now proving to myself that this concept of absolutely free living is completely possible. I want to share this to anyone who feels that call within them to really break free, to get out there, to create something that allows you to live on your own terms. It's not just about the adventure, but integrating the adventure into the completeness of your life where you can earn money online, where you can travel where you want to, train, eat healthy, just forging yourself into this absolute specimen of mankind. And that's how we create the new world. So follow along the journey to a sovereign reality and a life of glory.